Hello, welcome back to my channel. I am ZBest. It is that time of year again. We are back to the wonders of holiday ops and all the new premium tanks related to the Christmas boxes. Of course, we will get to that later, though as the uh, article has already been released, we know uh, all the tanks that will be in the Christmas boxes, and I'm here to uh, quickly talk about one of them today, the Buffers Tornvon. So, Buffers Tornvon is a tier 8 Swedish premium heavy tank. So, things that pop out real quick, 10 degrees of gun depression, V range is kind of low, so I uh, made sure to use optics, I think with... Um, Situational awareness, I get over the 445. Yeah. So this is what my loadout is. Uh, I was running optics because the V range was low. The reload is very long. So 400 alpha, 248 standard pen, I think 297 premium. Yeah. So long reload. You want the rammer directive if you have it. Um, and then, of course, standard loadout, rammer, V stab. Uh, 400 alpha is very good on a tier 8, but it is not the uh, greatest. Uh, of course, you have the 440 on the Defender and the uh, VK100, the 460 on the Skoda T56. But 400 is still pretty good, especially with the APCR pen. And if you go to premium, 297 pen, 1450 shell velocity versus the 1000 of the standard round. So... Aim time, you can get it down to about 2 seconds, which is quite good for the caliber of gun it is. The dispersion is not very good, though. It's I got it down to about 0.39, so right under 0.4. Uh, sniping is not this thing's uh, strength whatsoever. Neither is mobility. Here we can see just how slow it is. 32 top speed, 12 in reverse, and the power to weight is painful. The HP is quite good though, 1600, which of course is almost as much as the VK100. And yeah, so that's a quick rundown on the stats. Uh, let's take a look at the armor profile. This is where it gets very interesting. Look at this armor profile. <laughs> like, if this thing pokes, pokes its turret over uh, a ridge... Like, it's about the equivalent of trying to hit a cupola anyways, let alone, like, 370 effective here, 360, as low as 280, under the gun, 296, 300. It's just, yeah, it's, it's not easy to penetrate at all. Um, though, if you use premium, you can see that... Um, it's 50-50 for anything around 300 penetration right next to the gun. So aim at the gun. There is a strip of 280 millimeters of armor. Though again, tier 8s will not be able to pen this consistently. Only tier 10s. And of course, first you actually have to hit the turret, which from the front is very difficult. The rest of the hull armor, uh, very big lower and kind of middle plate. Uh, very weak. Uh, lower plate only about 100. I'll go back to the standard just to show the different armor. Uh, very weak lower plate. The middle plate is quite good, but not against premium rounds from tier 8s, 9s, or 10s. Uh, you have these corners that are 200 uh, actual armor, but 250 effective. Again, they're, it is quite good against lower tier and even same tier uh, depending on the angle but higher tier will go straight through you on an angle with 10 degrees of gun depression. Like I said, it's going to be a pain to mess with one of these things. Like, it is so hard to actually do anything with it. Uh, as for side scraping, I think it might actually be okay. Like, look at this um, angle, like right here. If you hide your lower plate, this is the weak spot for sure. Uh, I'm trying to get the gun level. But um, that is definitely the weak spot right here. But even that's 250 effective, and it's a small target. The rest of it is auto ricochet. And then if you can somehow sneak something into engine deck, that is also a possibility. So 
overall, it will bounce, especially if it's hull down. Side armor, not great. Rear armor, not great. Side turret, also 90 millimeters. That's okay, but only at an angle of like auto ricochet. Overall, I don't know. It's it's decent. It is nothing special. Lower lower tiers are going to suffer uh, facing it frontally, unless they see the lower plate. Higher tiers will butter most of the most of the upper armor as well. So uh, let's get quickly into the replay. And like I said, this is one of the offerings of this year's holiday ops Christmas boxes which I am really looking forward to. Uh, like every year, there's always something new and amazing, this being one of them. And as we go into this, here we can see the painfully slow speed. Mind you, this was actually my first battle uh, that I played in this thing, so if you see me getting used to it, that's because this was my actual first battle in this thing ever. And always there's someone in uh, chat that is wondering how I uh, acquired one of these, which didn't really acquire. Anyways, slow speed, it's going to take a long time to get anywhere you go. The power to weight means going up the hill, uh, up any hill is going to be very slow going. But once you get there, you will actually be able to do quite a bit. That is because of your turret. And apparently they still don't know where to pen. Even with the huge lower plate. Oh, the other thing that I didn't actually show is this is a perfect crew trainer for all the Swedish auto loading heavy tanks so for the Kron, the emil one and the emil two this is a perfect crew trainer it has three crew members and all of the extra crew members line up exactly so the commander is also the um the commander is also the radio man and the loader and the gunner is also a loader here we see just the uh, really good pen and shell velocity not doing any sniping, but the shell gets there as, it, as soon as I fire. 297 APCR is quite handy at tier 8, actually. Now, as I was talking about earlier, the reload is slow. It's almost 12 seconds, and that is a long aim time with a big bloom. Uh for something like this but here like look at fully aimed it's not even at max render and it looks like it's not even gonna hit which i do hit but if i had like a half second faster reload i would have gone that now that was really unlucky that should have penned <laughs> that 112 should already be dead and yeah, that was. That's what happens when it has bad accuracy. The uh, 0 0.4 accuracy showing right there. Also, don't go showing your lower plate unless you uh, have to, or even something like a 112 with standard rounds can go through. Uh, go through. Now, that's a good example of how good this pen is. That's a defender. I shot the lower plate. He was still slightly angled down, and it was green on my reticle, which means quite an easy pen. Again, the low mobility showing. Just, you know, trundles along.
So back to the topic of the holiday boxes, considering this is one of those uh, tanks that will be available in them. It is probably not worth uh, getting more than you can afford. Like always, the holiday boxes are lucrative, but they are not worth um, spending on if you don't have the money. But if you do have the money, uh, they are definitely worth it. They so far have not had any um, drawback, really. Uh, especially re regarding the new tanks. The drop rates are typically pretty good. And here again we can see the very good penetration uh, just butters the AT-15. Apparently the lower plate, um, also the engine gets damaged a lot and so does the driver. So be careful with your lower plate. Uh, easy pen and easy module damage. And here we see the very long reload again. But even with that very long reload, we're up to 3,500 damage uh, in only about five and a half minutes of gameplay, including uh, the time that it took to get to battle. Which, as I said before, because of its speed, isn't um, the fastest to get anywhere. Traverse speed is also not the greatest, but... Well, there we go. Up to 4,300 damage. I don't think I get another shot off, so we can take a glance at the post-game stats. So, the buffers torn bond. 4,300 damage, 500 assists, 3 kills, uh, was an ace mastery. Uh, like I said, it was my first game in it, so I wasn't uh, fully aware of exactly how to play it, but it's a good hauled down tank. Definitely want to go the direction of the heavies. It can side scrape, as I showed against the AT-15. The penetration is very good and can most likely deal with even tier 10s frontally. Uh, it's not 340 heat, but 297 APCR well aimed will do you uh, uh, will, will do you a lot. Though again, the accuracy is not the greatest, and the slow speed means that you won't be zooming around and doing anything crazy. Hold down, the uh, turret is great, uh, but not against tier tens, as the heat will go right under the uh, gun, but that's not a big deal when you actually get to face tier 8s now with the new matchmaker. Anyways, 195 base XP as the most, what's the most important? Credits. It actually does okay. Uh, I was firing all premium. The standard pen is very good. I think it was 248. So if you're trying to make credits, this thing is actually a decent option because 248 is a tier 8 tank destroyer penetration or a tier 9 uh, base heavy tank pen or even tier 10, I think. Uh, I think it's the WZ-5A and the 113 that are in the 250 range. So standard pen is great. Premium pen is great. Premium shell velocity is very good, though the shells are expensive. Overall, it's a unique tank. It will train your crew uh, quite well for Swedish heavy tanks, but it is not something that is going to set the uh, world on fire. It will give you unique gameplay, but it's not going to be OP like, let's say, the Skoda T-56 or the Burrask or the Even 90, um, which has its own uh, problems that it causes. Anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. 
and look forward to a bunch more holiday ops content coming up soon. Feel free to like, uh, comment, and subscribe if you enjoyed this, and I will see you guys around.